Globy, allow me to introduce you to my alter ego. I'm Mega Evan. That's right, I'm Mega Evan. Exploring the universe, defending the Globy. Okay, actually I'm wearing the super suit because it kind of reminded me of the super suit NASA helped develop for the Olympic swimmers. That's right, NASA worked with Speedo on the development of an amazing suit for Olympic swimmers. But this isn't just a bathing suit. It uses advanced technology to help swimmers move through the water faster. And the swimmers wearing these suits set all kinds of Olympic records. So how did NASA, who specializes in air and space technology, get involved in testing a swimsuit for Olympians? Let's ask engineer Steve Wilkinson, who worked on the project at NASA Langley. NASA has a lot of experience with trying to reduce the drag force on airplanes. The engineer who approached us, the other aerospace engineer who approached us, who's working for the Speedo Corporation, asked for our help in designing a swimsuit that has some of the same features that we use in our airplane research. How can you test a material that's designed to be used in a swimming pool? How can you test that in air? Well, it's a little game we play with the speed. A swimmer, a good swimmer in an Olympic event will swim at about two meters per second. It turns out if we run our wind tunnel at about 15 times faster, or at 30 meters per second, we can simulate the conditions in the swimming pool. This is a sample of one of the fabrics that we received from Speedo to test in this study. What we do is we take fabrics such as this and we stretch them over a metal frame and this is the model that we place in the wind tunnel. So we set this in the tunnel like this. The flow moves across the surface, tries to push it along and we measure that force. Everything has to be referenced to the optimal surface a very smooth surface and what we use for that is just this aluminum plate that is polished so it has no roughness on it at all and that's what we compare our fabric measurements to. This is the best case right here. What we tried to do with the fabric is create a fabric that has a drag as close to this flat plate as possible and what Speedo found out was that this particular coated fabric was actually very close to the smooth flat plate. So Mr. Wilkinson, how does testing fabrics in a wind tunnel help a person swim faster? The whole idea of this research was to develop a fabric with the lowest possible drag. Drag is the force on any moving body that restrains its motion as it moves. Think about driving down the road and sticking your hand out the window. If you put your palm facing the wind, you'll feel a very strong force on your hand. This is called a pressure drag or a pressure drag force, and it tries to push your hand back. If you turn your hand parallel to the wind, you'll feel a much lower drag force. This is what we call a friction drag, and this is what Speedo was trying to reduce when they came to us. So drag happens when an object moves through air or water, slowing the object down. The less drag, the easier something can move through the air or water. For example, airplanes and cars experience drag as they move through the air. Boats experience drag as they move through the water. Swimmers are no different. As they move through the water, drag slows them down. Get it? I know NASA has developed spacesuits for decades, but who would have thought they could apply their know-how to help reduce drag on Olympic swimsuits? Amazing. Hey, Mr. Wilkinson, did you get to meet any Olympians? I got to meet Michael Phelps and Katie Hoff and Natalie Coughlin while I was there. They were very nice people, and they love the suit. NASA wind tunnels have been used to test all kinds of things. Airplanes, rockets, even NASCAR race cars, and now swimming suit materials. So the next time you go swimming, think about how drag affects your speed as you move through the water. What do you think, Globy? You think NASA could help me with my super suit? Yeah, I think so too. For now, this is Mega Evan, signing off. <laughs>